like what are the what are the three you know principles that guide you in all of these projects and all the places in the world that that you really are are trying to make an impact with first of all we look at an individual as a total person they have physical needs they have mental needs they have uh spiritual needs our objective is to address that whole person now this is how we address that whole person by providing education one secondly help and thirdly sustainability okay mm. when it comes to education we the only thing that we are missing out is a university degree that's the only thing but we give them k from kindergarten to grade 12 we provide them because everybody is not academically inclined we provide them with a series of skills training where they can take a course and learn how to repair a two stroke engine electrical wiring plumbing girls if they want to get into the host, the um, hotel industry they can have a course in that they can do sewing they can do knitting different courses have courses for women we have courses for men we have been one of the greatest need among women today is to teach or train women how to counsel other women who are in crisis mm. that's one that's the greatest need among women across the universe the church has failed mm. in that and if the church has failed in that psychologists and psychiatrists can help right <laughs> and so we we had one of our nurses who has a course in who's qualified in counseling and her name is Marilyn and she has done a fantastic job over the years especially in Africa we want to take that now and throw it out flesh it clothe it and throw it out there where we can help women to be women mm. and strong women right. now education as i said education is overall we provide health education when it comes to the aspect of health it's a comprehensive service that we provide everything in the health industry we provide clinical services health education cmes for continuing medical education for the, those who are the medical professionals um hospital equipment i've got four containers right now from bc that is going two going to barbados two going to trinidad mm -hmm. uh, with this present situation that we are facing a lot of these hospitals don't even have beds for people so i'm thankful for those that i mean and these are good electric beds we, pro we we help them to build hospitals right so when it comes to health we have a comprehensive service that we, have, that we work with. then when it comes to um uh sustainability we in africa we have had it on a small scale where we used to give a person either seeds for planting their vegetables or we give them uh, fingerlings, small fishes to, to grow fish, or we give them 50 chickens. We have combined those three together. And what we do, we build a fish tank. Over the fish tank, we put the chickens. The chickens feed the fish. And the water from the fish tank is used for drip irrigation for the vegetables. Yeah. Now we've got and the next step that, uh, further that we have gone is that we are building a home for a person and we want that house not to be, to use up the land that they have but to be placed in a strategic location so they have a little piece of land at the back at the back of that land we are going to help them to be sustainable when it comes to food right because they're going to have fish they're going to have chickens and they're going to have vegetables and this so, mission dot, miss, missions dot finance and and this this oh. blockchain project that you're that you're building um is is going to finance this 
Is isn't that right? Precisely. I mean, that's, yep. Precisely. Precisely. I tell you something. We launched the Goat Project in Africa. We were the first organization that began Goat Project, and no one has been able to do exactly what we are doing. Yeah. We would give a we would give a family four goats, not one, but four. One male, three females. We train them, and we teach them how to raise these goats. They cannot uh, sell and they cannot slaughter for two years. Mm. At the end of two years, they have four, 200 plus goats oh. in their hands. Wow. 200 plus goats. Yep. Amazing.